Hey guys, so today is kind of a bittersweet day. Uh, I still can't talk to the person that I most care about, but I know people have been have been putting things in my head, and I freaked out a little. They've, you know, they're telling me things that I'm afraid of. And then I asked them about the things that people keep on telling me, and of course he thinks that I that I'm crazy. But people keep on saying things and making me insecure. And then I ask him, and things end up getting worse. I just wish he would talk to me. Anyway, this is not what this video is about. It's because I finally found out why no matter how much I exercise, I can't lose a lot of weight. And uh, when I do, I have to exercise over six hours a day. Um, so anyway, but I've lost some weight. I've been so sad. That I... <sighs> anyway, um, I found out that uh, finally, finally, after years of people telling me that I overeat, years of people telling me that I don't exercise enough, that I'm lying about what I do, I finally found out that I, I'm i not diabetic, and um, this is not uh, diabetes, I do... You know, I don't have insulin resistance, thank God. But I do have a condition that may lead one day to diabetes if uh, I gain weight, uh, more weight than this, or if, uh, you know, I get old, um, which is I produce too much insulin. So um, uh, it's not diabetes because... Um, I produce so much insulin that it basically absorbs all the sugar that I ingest and all the carbs that I ingest get immediately processed or whatever. And that's why I'm always in a permanent state of hypoglycemia and I can't even donate blood because of that. And even when I don't have hypoglycemia, I have extremely low levels of blood sugar. So... This translates in my inability to lose weight. And according to the doctors, um, you know, my original goal of weight loss was 80 kilos by September, October. But apparently with this, I could go as low as 70 kilos by September uh, because um, this will reduce my insulin levels will also lower the danger of uh, dying or whatever due to extremely low blood sugar levels. Because um, what happens is uh, when I eat something and especially, thank God, I think that I never got really bad health because I'm not very much fond of sweets. So I rarely eat cakes or stuff. I sometimes eat it, but it's rare. I'm not. A, I'm more of a salty foods person um, because um, sweets prompt uh, my insulin response even further, which would lead me to worse crisis of hypoglycemia and. Uh, uh, yeah, this causes a lot of weight gain, and uh, thank God at least I found out about it. Maybe a lot of my digestive issues come from that too, uh, I don't know. Uh, but all my other tests were um, quite uh, normal. I had uh, low blood sugar, I had... Uh, all my hormones appear normal and even B12, surprisingly enough, because I tended to under eat, even though now I have a, uh, you know, I have um, set my alarm clock 
to eat more often and try to do more than one meal a day. Uh, so I improved a little on that. Uh, my cholesterol lowered significantly. It's still high, but uh, again, uh, I have a genetic history of high uh, cholesterol. My grandfather, my father, my mother, everyone in my family has high levels of cholesterol, even people who are slim. So this is a family condition. I also have uh, diabetic diabetic history in my family, high blood pressure, although I don't have any blood pressure, high blood pressure. My blood pressure is normal, extremely normal, even when I am nervous, which is actually good. But um, this uh, overproduction of insulin indicates that I'm... I inherited the predisposition to become diabetic, so I need to be extremely careful. And uh, so, yes, uh, I think this will reduce uh, the insulin production and will reduce the weight gain. Well, I don't gain weight but per se, but I don't lose either, so this uh, will help me hopefully. Um, in six months, I'll get to my healthy weight. Because I have a lot of muscle mass, um, I only need to drop to 60 kilos. And uh, since it is predicted by, that by August, October, depending on how much the, the, the conjunction of my habits and uh, this uh, drug do, I may drop to 70 kilos within four months, uh, and uh, the rest of it uh, will just, uh, you know, they, their goal is to get me to uh, slightly overweight. I told them that I wanted to get fit, but they said it's not healthy to do this whole thing in a year. That's why they don't re recommend changing much. They think that the drug alone will um, change a lot of things. And, uh, well, they recommended some exercise, but I already do more exercise than what they recommended. So basically, they didn't recommend changing anything. So, yeah, uh, they recommended uh, five times a week, about 40 minutes walk, and I do more than that. So... Uh, or bike. I don't have a bike, so I can't do, and I can't run, obviously, because of my joints. So I already do more than what they ask. Um, so I think I should be fine with this medicine. I just need to make sure I don't forget to eat my meals, especially now because they said it is important to not skip meals because this uh, medicine will make me feel ill if I don't eat. Uh, so, yeah, I need, well, more encouragement not to skip meals. So, thank God I'm finally going to stop being a bees. And uh, it's exciting because, you know, I've, like, if you knew my history of weight loss, it's really overwhelming because, um, not only uh, I, it's like I have a certain weight that I don't go over or under, and if I gain some extra weight, it will drop naturally to that specific uh, plateau, or it will go up again to that specific plateau. I also have a lot of water retention. So a lot of the weight that I have is also water, so I may actually have less weight to lose. And uh, so let's see how things go. My hope now is that this will work. The last time uh, that uh, the lady prescribed this to me because she suspected I was diabetic, and this is to control insulin resistance and uh, overproduction of insulin 
because uh, those that have insulin resistance also produce more res uh, insulin than they need. So the medication is the same. And uh, they're trying to prevent uh, me from getting insulin resistance, which is unlikely because uh, I don't eat uh, a lot of sugar. And uh, that's probably why I never became a diabetic. Uh, but um, the high levels of insulin have screwed up my life for a long time. <laughs> for instance, I remember in 2005, 2006, trying to donate blood and they wouldn't allow because I had dangerously low blood sugar levels. And of course, when you have dangerous, dangerously low blood sugar levels, no one is going to doubt that you have diabetes and those that do usually assume that you have uh, you know diabetes and not high insulin without r insulin resistance which is kind of worse than diabetes because um, diabetes is more easily detectable and more easily controlled insulin resistance uh, kind of, you know, you produce too much insulin, but your body doesn't respond to insulin. So it cancels out uh, the effect. It also makes you gain weight, but in a different way. Whereas um, overproduction of insulin isolated can be, uh, can lead you to a coma. And uh, I think that... Uh, I am lucky that I don't ingest uh, sugar uh, on a regularly basis because if I did ingest sugar, it would overstimulate my production of insulin and lead to severe hypoglycemia. I know it is a little um, contradictory because uh, you'd expect that uh, more sugar would mean that uh, you'd counteract the effects of insulin, but more sugar will only uh, stimulate more production of insulin, which is what you want to avoid. So uh, I also need to avoid sweets as uh, diabetics. Well, diabetics actually need to eat sweets sometimes. In my case, it is counterproductive because um, it will cause a response of high level of uh, insulin hang on okay i had to stand a little up because my knees were hurting so um in my case which is uh too much uh insulin uh what happens is for instance they gave me that syrup thingy that uh if i had insulin resistance uh the the insulin they would detect levels of insulin but the syrup wouldn't be absorbed by my body and what my body did was it produ produced so much insulin that my blood sugar uh, decreased at an alarming rate after drinking that disgusting thing they gave me to drink so based on that, they um, established that I have uh, an overproduction of insulin that needs to be regulated in order for me to be able to lose weight. And not only lose weight, but also avoid other complications. And uh, I didn't know that I was at risk of uh, going into a coma or have severe cases of hypoglycemia. I guess I was lucky so far that this didn't happen to me, uh, especially because I tend to undereat. And yes, I sometimes I almost faint and all, but I think that uh, I'll be okay now. I have this drug and this drug is supposed to reduce the amount of insulin I produce, uh, so let's keep my fingers crossed not crossed i don't cross fingers i'm not a christian damn uh colloquialisms let's 
<laughs> Star of David, the fingers. Oh my gosh. He said that. That's what he said. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's so sweet to say the funniest things. Anyway, let's hope that this works. And I'm sure it will work because uh, it has to work. It's, I mean, out of everything that I've ever been through, this is uh, the most, uh, you know, I, it's like, it's hard because I don't think like a fat person I don't eat like a fat person, and uh, so now I have an answer and finally a solution. Uh, and I hope this will also reduce the bloating and water retention because I can literally go from 90 kilos to 96 kilos overnight, even 98 kilos, just from water retention. So. It is good because this also deals with the water retention issue. So I'm confident that this time I will lose weight. I hope that this regulates it in a way that I won't have to be on these drugs for the rest of my life. But if it's the price I have to pay to finally be able to exercise properly and lose weight and be healthy and fit, then it's worth it. Anyway, I just wanted to give you this update because I've been years and years um, waiting for this answer, but doctors never trusted me, never believed in my diet. I, the only person that believed me was my personal trainer, and I was able to lose a lot of weight because he knew that my issue was under eating. And uh, apparently it wasn't not only that, now I know that it was also this uh, insulin overproduction, which is causing me uh, this uh, problem too. But I'm quite excited. Now I know what it is. And uh, hopefully by September, uh, I will have drop weight. And I hope that... By the end of my internship, I will have a normal weight because I am planning on going to kind of a yeshiva, a batayin or whatever. Batayin. Uh, so I wanted to have my issue sorted out to make sure that uh, everything is uh, properly regulated when I... Uh, go there because uh you know i want to be able to not worry about my health and be able to focus on my relationship with god on uh, my studies and uh on uh, my life without having to go to the doctor and uh, stuff like that of course, I'll probably need to stay on the medication until uh, my hormones... Insulin is not a hormone, is it? It's a, Yeah, it's a, a hormone. Until this hormone stabilizes. But uh, I think it's worth it because... Uh, well, anyway, I hope it stabilizes because I know a lot of uh, uh, Jewish... Uh, things are full of carbs and stuff uh, uh, so yeah anyway uh, I think that's it I'm you know I'm so devastated on one side but at the same time I'm relieved uh, they suspected of type 1 diabetes <laughs> and thank god it wasn't that but uh, it's still a serious condition, although they told me it has a solution. Although I'll be permanently uh, on a watch for the risk of developing diabetes because, uh, you know, we never know when the body develops insulin resistance. So, yeah. So anyway, that's it. I will be keeping you updated on this. Now I have a low dosage because uh, I've been prescribed this medication before because the woman suspected I had diabetes, but she prescribed me a dosage that 
made me faint and feel sick. And the doctor said that she shouldn't have prescribed it like that, much less not knowing what I really had. And thank God that it made me collapse because uh, otherwise, if I were taking it and taking these blood tests now, I wouldn't know what's actually wrong. So, it, and uh, it was not a brand name. And he said that probably the adverse reactions that I got was that because it was a generic non-brand name uh, medicine. So now I have the real deal. It's more expensive, but it it's also less likely to cause bad reactions with my stomach, with my health. I mean, I almost fainted and uh, that goddamn medicine made me starve like hell. Uh, so I'm hoping this one will work. Uh, um, and he said that the formula is slightly different, so it's likely to work better. And now I have the proper dosage, uh, so I am uh, happy to try it. And uh, yeah, uh, so anyway, that's all I had to say today. And uh, please don't self-medicate. This is a condition that can only trace by blood tests and trust me I never want to go through that again because that lady almost tried to tore my arm off like she couldn't oh my god she was so bad she was so bad she couldn't draw blood from any veins she stabbed my hand and the, the needle almost came out of the other side twice then she stabbed a nerve and I had an electric shock and got my arm completely immobilized for half an hour and I felt my fingers numb for over a week. Oh, so thank God uh, I was praying, I was praying, I was praying for someone else to take over. Luckily, another um, doctor saw what she was doing to my arm and she said, you know, come here, come here, she's not there. And she finished, <laughs> but still, my arms were black for the upcoming days. My fingers were numb, and I had this. And I, it, you can actually see still a little dark from her stabbing my hand all the way through. I've never had such a dreadful experience drawing blood. So anyway, that's uh, what I wanted to talk about, um, and uh, well, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. Goodbye, and thanks for listening to me, so <sighs> wish me luck. Please. Oh.